think we did a better job getting inside in second, third chances. I think it was important for us to get pucks past their D uh, and get on the grind. Has some sustained pressure. Um, you know, he's, he's a very good goalie. Not a lot. Uh, you know, just from the beginning of this year when we played him, even last year in the playoffs. I mean, a lot of the offense stemmed from you know shots up top and traffic. You know, and again, we get two goals tonight from up top, and it's a tough goalie to beat in tight. He competes very hard, so. You know, obviously it took 50-something shots just to get to tie it up. So, I mean, um, you know, hats off the way you know, that they played. And, you know, we had to, you know, play with that type of urgency and and uh, no no quit. So, you know, just a couple of mistakes on our end. I mean, you know, power play was a missed communication on the bench and we don't get the puck on the wall. That's the difference, you know, almost the difference of the game. How great is it to have a, a bomb like Eric Canola back on the blue line? Yeah, he can shoot it. I mean, he's you know he's he's really come a long way since the first uh, time he was down and, and what he is now. Even the time we spent before he got called up. I mean, he started really evolving as a professional, and he's he's got a good future ahead of him. He does a lot of really good things. He's got a huge range, but yeah, there's no question he's got a shot, like a real big shot, obviously. So we able to utilize that is, is is huge. Since Tuesday, have you been able to get a, a little better handle on um, what players? You yeah, you're just you're tinkering with some things. I mean, you know, the fact that we were able to generate 50 something shots, I mean, that's nice to see. It means that you know, we have the puck on our stick a lot and we have a lot of uh, sustained pressure in the offensive zone. But again, it's executing and, and capitalizing and just a little bit more finish. So, um, you know, we'll still look at some things and, you know, see what fits. And obviously, there's guys in and out of the lineup most, you know, in, in, you know, consistently the last few games, so you know, we'll see what fits and you know just try to gel as a group here moving forward. With uh, having the weekend off now playing again until Monday, you're going to spend a lot of time uh, kind of scoreboard watching this weekend. You know, I think it's Greenville's got a three and three, and I mean that's going to go a long way to setting things up for the next couple. Yeah, of days. I'm going to sit there and scoreboard watch too much. I mean, we have to worry about ourselves and how we have to prepare to be good Monday night before we head on the road. Um, that's important for us. You know, you start to look into that. You know, you know, we control our destiny and how we have to play and how we have to attack points. You know, and uh, and that's what we can control. I can't control what everybody else does in the league. So, you know, our focus and attention has to be on what we need to do to prepare ourselves. You know, for Monday and then moving forward. You know, for the road trip coming up. With the inconsistency at home this year, those four games coming up on the road next week uh, and going up there. Um, how much more important? Yeah, every game's important. I mean, you know, Toledo's a good hockey team. You know, Cincinnati, we're playing again. And, you know, Evansville, same thing. So, you know, every game's important from here on out. You know, and then it doesn't matter. You know, obviously, we, we know we had to be better at home. I think we've been better at home. Played a lot, you know, uh, a lot more uh, with more urgency, you know, and, and you know, it's way better third periods. Um, you know, we just have to continue to, to you know, take every game as, as a playoff game. And every game has been. You know, last little while, it's, you know, we talked about the urgency level, the compete level, and everything that's more at stake. So, like I said, little mistakes now are magnified, and even small little mistakes is much in November. You could, you know, get away with them. You can't get away with them at this time of the year. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Vince. Go on. All right, John, uh, take us through the game-winning goal in the shootout. Uh, yeah, I noticed the last couple of games against these guys, he kind of jumps. Uh, if you fake a shot and go around him, he comes way out of the net. If you saw Mandy's goal, he did exactly what I was trying to do. And then, uh, fortunately, it fumbled up on me, so I just tried to get it over his pad. And I think it went through his arm and kind of went right in, so we'll take it. Uh, talk about, from a player perspective, the differential between the performance that Orlando had on Tuesday night and the performance he had tonight. Yeah, I think we controlled the game more tonight. Um, I think we played a good game on Tuesday. But good at this time of year isn't going to get us to where we want to go, and that's in the playoffs. Uh, you got to do something special and kind of make our move. It's, it's got to happen now, especially after dropping the game Tuesday, where I feel like might outchanced, outshot, and outdid, but we just didn't outscore. And uh, that's what it comes down to, that extra 3% uh, you know, finishing. And I think we did that tonight, found a way to win, which is a uh, good momentum swing for us. Is it to for players to get uh, get that chemistry in a real short order because basically that's what you're being asked to do at this time of year instead mm -hmm. of having the time to 
kind of build and play together yeah. and take some time. Yeah, like I said, I mean, we really don't have a choice. Uh, if we want to make the playoffs, we got to make a push. So um, it's just getting to know. We know everybody here is a good hockey player. Um, if you weren't, we wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. Um, you just got to believe in each other and uh, keep shooting the puck. I think that, you know, we gel together as a team. Anybody can play with anybody. It's just you got to go back to what you know and uh, playing simple and smart and everybody on the same page, and I think we'll be just fine chemistry-wise. Thank you. Yep. You've met your match. Oh, yeah, the first one was just a great face-off play. Uh, Stefan Delavera did a great job winning the draw, and, you know, I just stepped into it and uh, tried to get as much of it as, as I could and, you know, found a, found a good spot uh, with a good screen with their two guys in front. So, And the second one uh, it was the power play. It was a, we needed a key goal there and good scrum on the wall. Uh, we were able to pop the puck out to me and just brought it to the middle and put, in front, put, a, put a shot on and went off someone's stick and went in. So, so it was good for us. I know that you know, at the beginning of the year when you started, Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, when I was first down here, didn't really, uh, didn't really get a chance to, to really shoot a whole, shoot the puck a whole lot. Um, but you know, getting the opportunities now and you know doing the best I can with it. Um, I, I like to shoot the puck from the point with good screens and you know make things happen. But uh, yeah, it's been working so far, and you know I want to continue it. Um, what's it been like since you came down here from Toronto? Um, maybe you know things that you might have might have seen or noticed. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot, it, the team's changed a, a bit since I was up here, since I was down here uh, the first time. But uh, you know, it's the same system, same everything. So you know, just going out there and you know, learning how to play the pro game, and um, it's a little different styles from the teams you play against. But um, you know, just trying to go out every night and, and help the team win. Um, does it help um, with Toronto, the Marlies being kind of in a push to try to get into the playoffs? Does it kind of help the mentality coming down here because Orlando is in the same situation? Yeah, they're both in the same exact situation. Every night is, is a must win. You know, you go out and give everything you have. So it's definitely uh, the right mindset coming down here and, you know, battling for wins and every game's important. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice to have the same mindset up there and down here. Perfect. Thank you, Eric. Perfect. No problem.